got one dead net. There's one. Net, net. Got a net, net. There's one. Net. Good one. Good morning, welcome back to Fishing with Norby. We just dumped on the water, we're getting ready to take off. It is an early tournament morning. Dad and I are gonna go out there and try to whack them today. Um, it's barely getting light out. I hope you guys can see me right now. We're gonna go out there, try to get on some brush piles probably, try to find some fish. It's a mid-August tournament. Here we go, we're taking off, see you guys. I forgot to say this during the intro, but stay tuned till the end. I'll be announcing the winner of the 3,000 subscriber giveaway. My buddies Nathan and Cody are fishing this tournament as well, so I'll be throwing clips of them uh, in their video of the fish they caught in between catches from Dad and I, and we'll see how they did here at the end. And that sunrise is beautiful. Wow. That is awesome. Look at these great blue herons. They're walking at the same pace, and they got their heads up, and they're walking. There's one. Net, net. It's okay. He might measure. He's super skinny, but long. Yeah, they wanted something moving. I don't think he's going to measure. We will find out here. Surprisingly, he's 15 and a half. He's super tiny. <laughs> that is a skinny bass right there. Oh well. Number one on the bluegill square bill. There we go. Let's get another one. You got one dead net net. It's a walleye. What? It's a walleye. That's a good size, huh? It's a big walleye. Let's go find them. We gotta go find us some five pounders. Alright. Next spot. Yep, let's go hit some more brush piles. <laughs> the tree pounder. <laughs> I got it, I got it. Is his nose all the way to the top? Like for sure keeper? For sure keeper touching. All right. Uh, Cold tags are in the back left. <laughs> oh, it's a Walter. Hey, a Walter. <laughs> I got one. I don't think he's 15 though. Well, just hooked into a little dink on the 10 inch worm. Worm's about as long as he is, see ya. That is not what we wanna be catching right now. We gotta get some bigger ones than that. There's one. Net. Uh, I don't know if he's going to keep or not. Don't think he's going to keep. Probably weighs more than our first fish, but only looks like a 14 inch. We'll measure him real quick. All right, let's see what he measures. Oh, he's 15. He hit 15. There we go. Keeper number two of the day. Yeah. All right, keeper number two. I didn't think he was going to measure, but he did. We've caught both of the keepers so far on this bluegill square bill I'm ripping it out of the grass right now we're gonna keep going here hooked up with a giant in the back on the gilly square bill <laughs> well there's another one there's one got him dead net oh that's what it took switching up to the shaky head this uh, fish got some weight on it Oh, this fish has some weight. Oh, come on. Oh, that's a good one. Ready? There we go. Thank you, Lord. Oh, there's a five. That's a five pounder. All right. There we go, Dad. 
That's what I'm talking about. We threw our big worm in there about 10, 15 times and we got hit, but they wouldn't take him. So we threw the shaky head in there. He hit it first thing. That is awesome. There we go. All right. That one goes right to the big side. Oh, yes. Oh, man. Give me some, Dad. Woo! On the shaky head. I thought it was a small fish with the way it bit it. It's just being lethargic, you know? Just barely picked it up. I set the hook anyway. I didn't know if it had it all the way. There you go, oh, Dad. Oh, got come on. Keep him coming. Keep him coming. Got a big oh, yeah. It's like this. <sighs> Yes, Dad, let's go. Let's go. It's probably three. There you go, Dad. Come on, stay on, fish. Bring him here, bring him here. All right, Dad. Yes, three and a half. There's a three and a half. I'll get him for you. Yes, we fired up the school, boy. All right, you keep fishing. There's a three, three and a half. Probably right at three. That's a good one, Dad. Things change in a hurry. They just fired up. Fired up. That time of day for him, I guess. Okay, just want to give you guys a little midday update. We are idling back in a no wake cove. Dad and I just got on a couple good ones at the last brush pile we fished. It's been kind of a terrible slow day so far. We caught a couple two pounders this morning. You saw those. A lot of dinks. And now at 11 o'clock, the brush pile bite just turned on in the brush pile we were at. It's a brush pile I haven't fished too much. It's a little deeper, it's a little older brush pile. Normally your bass like to hang out in the newer brush piles. But I'm gonna eat some lunch here while we're idling back. We're gonna hit some more brush piles back here that we hit this morning and hope the bite turned on. So there's a little midday update. Let's get to fishing. Oh, yes, baby. Yes. yes. Giant. Oh, dude. Oh, scary. Scary. Just, look at that fish, guys. Look at Cody. Yes. yes. Cody out here, out fishing me. <laughs> Sounds familiar. <laughs> yeah, he did. He freaking hammered it. I just got some nourishment in me. I'm going to fish this big tennis worm to get started here. See if we can trigger a couple into biting. There's one. Good one. Bed. Yep. Bed oh yeah, there's a three. I think he's three. We need to go, we need to go to the shaky heads. So. Oh, he's not that big. Whew, yeah, he's three. There we go. Yep. Oh man, quit it, fish. Threw my worm. All right. Two and a half. Good little two and a half. We just got our fifth keeper. Now we just gotta call out those two little ones from the start. We just got hooked up with a collar. There we go. All right. There we go. Collar. There we go. That is a good call right there. See ya. All right. One more like that, Dad. We need to call one more time like that. We'll be sitting pretty good. There we go. We're probably up to 15, 16 pounds now. Last one just crushed this tenant's worm in that brush pile. Hauled him out of there. My Woodstock line Power Strike braid. Pegging these weights. I'm using katana hooks. They don't bend at all through these brush piles. They work great. Let's get another one. Let's go, Dad. I'm gonna try to take us over there. Dad's hooked up with a good one. Pull him, pull him. Oh, there you go, Dad. Oh. All right. Be careful, that's not as heavy a braid as your other rod. Ready? Here, pull them on this side. There you go. There you go. I see him. Oh, hold on. Pull him, pull him up, pull him up. Just a little bit. He's on fishing line, I think. This is crazy. Oh, oh, let go, let go. Give me some slack. No. Give me some slack, Dad. Oh. Open your bail, open your bail. We got him. It's not, he, I think he is. All right, get your scissors, let's cut this. 
Wow. That's really funny, Dad. He was around some fishing line. I'm surprised we got him, but we did. I just scooped way down there and got him in that net. Wow. Yeah, I thought he was bigger than that. But look, there's a half pound coal. Nice, Dad. I'm surprised we got that fish. There you go. Half pound coal. See ya. Every little bit helps. Good job, Dad. Give me some. <laughs> that was probably one of the craziest fish catches I've ever seen. That fish was wrapped up around some actual braided fishing line that got stuck in that brush pile. And I reached down there about seven foot, six, seven foot, scooped the fish up. Dad had to let out line so we could pull the fish up underneath whatever it was caught on. Cold out about a half pound. There we go. We just got back into the main ramp cove. We're getting ready to load the boats, weigh in our fish. I think we did pretty good. We cold out a couple times. We caught most of our fish on those big 10 inch worms as well as little shaky head finesse worms. I'll link everything down below, but let's see how we did. That's the small one. No, the three. That was your three pounder, Dad. Man. Feisty. Hey, Small pounder. All right, there we go. Number five, probably about five pounds. Ooh. But we got a good bag, Dad. Wow, good bag. Man, I was feeling good until I heard about all these big fish. That was my favorite fish. <laughs> doing good, how are you doing? Good. Is that your big one? Yeah, I don't think he's... You can weigh him, though. 518. 518. Uh, boat number nine, I think. Five fish, five alive, 1764. There we go. Thank you, Tim. Thank you, sir. Nice sack. Thank you. Y'all. Have you seen a big bass before? No, I don't think so. Wow. You want to touch him? No. Okay. <laughs> touch him, bud? No. Okay. All right. Thanks. That is a pig right there. It's 5.18. See you, big mama. There she goes catch her next time well we had 17 six we just released our fish what do you think dad good day we must didn't get a lot in the first two hours after that wasn't too bad yeah yeah we had a dead period there this morning for some reason um, our bite if you saw it was mainly brush piles and these fish don't get set up in those brush piles till later on in the day and that was the ticket for us we cold out a couple times somebody weighed over 22 pounds right in front of us so they had a real good sack but we're gonna stick around for a little bit see if we catch the check that'd be awesome if not we were so close I think they pay out top five in these into it tournaments how you doing scout I gave him some of mine just a little bit ago so how'd it go it was kind of rough Dude, we just needed to call it was rough we need to call that guy that would have been great <laughs> did you get a good one eh. I had an okay one not that big. We had a oh, that's a stud. Caught that okay. First thing this morning. Okay. <laughs> that is a stud. Yeah. Yeah. Caught that spinner bait. You did? Yeah. Nice. Oh yeah, that was. Five fish, five alive, thirteen seventy-eight. Okay, just getting home from the tournament. We stuck around for the weigh-in. Twenty-two and a half pounds won. Twenty-one and a half got second. There were two nineteen-pound bags and eighteen point seven got fifth. So Dad and I ended up in seventh place. Uh, we were one hundredth of a pound away from sixth place. Our total weight was 17.64, so we had a pretty good day, I would say. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we're going to pick the winner of the giveaway right now, and we'll see you next time on Fishing with Norby.